Oh, oh, hello there. <laughs> hey guys, the announcement I'm about to make might offend some, but we're just gonna come out and say it. Essential oils don't work. So an essential oil is a mixture of plants' chemical compounds, it's fragrance basically, with a carrier oil of some kind. So a common claim made about these essential oils is that they have the ability to fight bacteria and viruses. Some test tube studies have shown that these essential oils kill bacterial and viral cells in a petri dish in vitro. However, if you put tequila in a petri dish, it also kills virus cells. All in all, there is no human data on whether these essential oils kill bacteria, so it's safe to say that rubbing that uh, oil on your skin is not going to protect you from any disease whatsoever. There are also claims of helping with anxiety and mental health. The variety of evidence has found that inhalation or topical application of these essential oils does not improve symptoms of anxiety whatsoever. And another issue that we have about this is that there's no mechanisms of action. The claims made by Sud Pyramid Scheme people is that it works it does it but how does it do it? on a chemical level how does it do the said benefits you know that's a question we have to ask ourselves it's also been claimed to help with sleep and actually lavender oil has been shown to help and have powerful sedative effects on mice however human studies they've been linked to the aromatherapy the smell to help with uh, sedation but not so much consumption there's also claims about it helping with acne for some reason <laughs> uh, there's only been two clinical trials on acne with essential oils those the two studies that were conducted um, did show somewhat of promising benefit you know whether it was the oil drying out their skin whatever's in it still more data is needed to conclude this until we make the claim it also has been touted to help with headaches which two studies have shown that peppermint oil can help with these headache symptoms out of the five claims we have here only two of them have some evidence but there are only two studies each and there, once again, we don't have mechanisms of action. This is the same issue we run into with a lot of things like skinny wraps, the new happy coffee, a lot of the pyramid scheme supplement companies, not gonna name names. So are essential oils safe? Well, we don't have hardly any research, so we can't say for sure. All in all, I come off this pretty, pretty hard stance when it comes to essential oils, and that's because they don't do anything for the most part. And until we know how they do something, I would stay away from your friends up the street trying to sell you their entire batch of, well, essential oils. Thanks and have a great one.